Hi! Hello! Uh, Christy and Emily here again with Pike County Fine Arts Extension. Uh, we're here to paint another live painting. We did it once before and y'all really enjoyed it. So here we are again. We had a lot of fun with it last time too. We, yeah. we really enjoyed it. So we're back. We have our <laughs> paintings from last time displayed on the wall. Right yeah, here. we can show you that, right? <laughs> yeah. We're very proud of them. We hope you hung yours up too. Yeah, we were really, we were really proud of those. Here we go. So today we are painting this leafy fall. I don't know about y'all, but I've felt the fall creeping in. The, mm -hmm. the breezes and the leaves are starting to change. So we are going to paint a fall autumn tree in front of a moon once again. I guess I have a thing for moons. Um, and if you pick up one of our kits, then you already got this. And if not, we're just going to be using blue, which is super runny. It's a different kind of paint. Uh, green, yellow, orange, red, brown, and a little white. And we have this paintbrush, which was in our kits. And then I also grabbed us a couple of big square brushes because we have to paint a little bit faster with the background than you all do. If you have one of these, grab one, but if not, no big deal. It just helps us since we're alive <laughs> to work a little bit faster. Other than that, we have some paper towels and some water, and I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments or anything, go ahead and type them into the box. Uh, I'll be checking them from time to time, and we'll read them as we, as we go. Um, I'm just going to try to position this a little bit so we can see a little bit better. All good? Looks good. All right. You ready to paint? I'm ready. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is get my, my big flat brush wet and dab it off on a paper towel first. You want your brush to be damp, not soaking. Um, and if you don't have a big flat brush, that's okay too. It just helps us go a little bit faster on this live video. And I'm just going to start kind of like last time. Um, we see that big angle between the grass and the sky, and I'm just going to find where my angle is going to be and then just fill in that yellow, or I mean that blue for the, for the sky. Um, and you might want to kind of go ahead and figure out where you want that moon to be. And mark that out because if you put blue paint down on that right now it'll you'll have to wait a long time for it to dry before you get your yellow and white for the moon down so i'm just going to leave that blank but other than that i'm going to fill in my blue all right christy paint so like patiently and thoughtfully <laughs> and i'm just like slap paint on the canvas <laughs> I think it's really cool that y'all get to watch different painting styles with she and I. <laughs> Even in the way our paintings turned out last time, um, some of the folks here in the office with us yeah, they were calling it noticed, there. yeah, that the the different <laughs> styles and that's the way it works. Even the paintings you all send in, everyone's a little bit different, and I yeah. think that's pretty cool. So. And that's the beauty of it. I mean. Uh -huh. Everybody's just different. Nobody looks the same. That's boring. Yeah. Christy, do you feel like Bob Ross when we do these? I do. I do. <laughs> I was kind of thinking if we do one for Halloween, we should dress up like Bob Ross. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Christy loves that idea. I do love that idea. You all got to witness her loving my idea in person. <laughs> Absolutely, I'll uh, <laughs> leave the straightener on. Um, <laughs> let that hair just oh go. Gosh. Yeah, Christy and I could probably pull off that hair <laughs> pretty easily. No wigs required. Mm. No. Nope. Hmm. So we're doing all blue on this, right? Yeah. Okay. And as I, I mentioned last time, um, when you're working with acrylic paint, you go from the background to the foreground um so yeah we're just you find the thing that's furthest away which in this case is the sky and then you start to work your way forward i 
I like to try to get all my brush strokes for the most part in the same direction too. I just think it looks smoother in the end. I've got my blue layer down now, so I'm going to start adding in the yellow and red purpley swirls we see in the sky back there. Um, and these should blend in really nice with that blue that we just put down that's still wet. It makes some really nice purpley colors for us. And you can add in as much yellow and red back there as you want. Your sky can be as colorful as you want it to be. I think I've already added a little bit more than the painting originally had, but that's okay. We're just going to blend those in. Throw in some yellow. What you do when you think of a Halloween theme? Something for Halloween. Mm. I don't know if that's folly or horror or... <laughs> when we were making up the kits earlier this week, we accidentally made t twice the amount of orange cups of paint we needed. So we have lots of pumpkin color ready to go. Mm -hmm. I always like to pick out nature things for group classes because nature can be kind of whatever. I mean, have you ever seen a tree uh, that looks the exact same as another tree? No. It can be whatever you want it to be. my red up some. And you can um, blend this in really well or you can leave it kind of streaky. Kind of depends on what your style of painting is. I tend to lean towards streaky because um, I just like that extra texture. So if you feel like you're spending a little bit more time on the sky than I am, that's okay because you're working in your own style. So you lucky people at home can watch this video as many times as you want. Whereas I am trying to get this done in one shot. But even without that, uh, timing in mind, I still really like that fast streaky look usually. I'm going to grab my smaller brush back out with the blue and kind of make all these patches of color kind of meet together in the middle a little bit better. Did you use red? Is it mm -hmm. red? Okay. Yeah, so, so far I just have blue down and then some red and yellow mixed into the blue.
when you're mixing um, light colors like yellow and darker colors like blue, it can be really easy to overwork the colors and make them muddy. So, although it's a difficult thing to do, try not to do that. Try to, if you feel like you want more blue there, it's better probably to let what's on the canvas already dry a little and then come back on top and add a, a layer of blue later than to try to add it in right now because you'll muddy up your colors. Because you can uh, mix your own blacks. A lot of artists will do that. And the way you mix your own black is pretty much by mixing colors together until they get muddy enough that they make black. Um, and that's not our goal right now, so. So be careful about how much you're blending these colors back here together because they will muddy up quick if you let them. And you can add in whatever other colors you want in your sky. If you've got some aquas or some pinks or something at home. Um, and don't overthink it too much because we're going to smack a tree on top of it here in a minute. So I think I'm about to where I'm happy. So what I'm going to work on next here is I'm going to go ahead and lay down some white and yellow in this moon area because that will be what we'll work on next. Since the tree will still go on top of the moon, then we need to take care of the moon before we start on the tree. And the painting that we're going by here is very um, expressionistic. <laughs> I think I sort of just made that word up. Um, Everything is kind of swirly and I don't want to use the word messy, but so what I'm trying to get at there is don't overthink it. There's no such thing as perfection. So I just laid some white down and then I um, got a little bit yellow on my brush. I'm just gonna kind of lightly blend that into the white. Uh, if you look at the original that we're looking at here, there's more a little white highlight kind of in the middle. So we don't want to cover up all of our white. We want to leave some showing through. And you might even want to mix your white and yellow together a little bit to make kind of a lighter yellow. Um, I'm getting pretty close to happy. I used to really only want to make art that looked exactly like the thing that I was painting or drawing. Um, and that got kind of boring. I didn't realize it for a long time, but trying to be a photocopy machine doesn't always leave a whole lot of room for expression. So I will take a kind of messy painting over like a perfectly accurate photorealistic painting any day. Maybe that's not true for you, but you're only going to get messy paintings from me, mostly. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab my big brush again just to make this green go faster. And 
if you aren't where I'm at yet, that's okay. Because you can stop and go as much as you need to. The squirrel is kicking my booty over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's lots of little white streaks back there in the sky, and Christy has added those in, and I kind of ignored that. So uh, I might go back in a little bit and add more into my sky after it dries a little bit. So for this ground, I'm gonna lay down this base of green, but then I'm gonna come back in with my yellow on top and there's a little bit of blue mixed into my yellow, but that's okay. Um, and kind of add some depth in there. Cause this isn't, bright springtime grass. This is fall grass. So we want to darken it up a little bit, add some yellow in there. I think I'm going to even grab a little bit of my brown and mix in there and see how that looks. that brown in there help me get a little bit closer to where I'm going. So I'm just going to layer this, these greens and browns and yellows together a little bit until I kind of get a color I'm liking. So I'm getting pretty close. And you know, when you're painting, the goal isn't, for me anyway, to blend all your brush strokes away. Like, I don't want this to look like, I don't like my paintings to look like something that could be made digitally or printed or something. Like, I want those brush strokes to be there. I want whoever looks at this to know brush strokes hit it, you know? I don't know if that, that makes sense or not, but... And you don't have to agree with that. I'm just sharing my personal art philosophies with you. Um, I'm starting to like the way that ground looks. And of course, all that yellow isn't necessarily in the original. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. You do you. I think while I let that ground dry a little bit, I might come back up here and add some more blue in on top of this red and yellow patches I've got going. For me, I kind of like thinking about these classes as not like, like we all aren't striving to be perfect painters here necessarily. We are just taking a moment out of our Fridays to paint together. Um, the world's kind of stressful, if you've noticed. And this should be a happy, fun time for you to not worry about Whatever it is you might be worried about. Your painting doesn't have to be perfect. Life isn't perfect. We're just putting colors on canvas, which is like an easy top three favorite ways in life to relax.
Yeah, I really, I'm glad I went in and added more blue back in. That's good. It really is so cool watching Christy and I paint together. <laughs> I am a blender, I've noticed. I do the yeah. blend. It's an easy thing to do. <laughs> We really loved all the paintings you all sent in to us last time. Please Those do that great. again. Those are great. There's so many more that were better than what I, like, I don't want to say better, but I, I was just amazed at the quality of all of them. Oh, they were yeah. all looking so great. Even the little ones. Yeah. We got some great paintings from some little, little tiny people. Someone um, asked, called in yesterday and asked what age limit this is good for, and my response was any age. <laughs> I mean, we're not shooting for, for, for any particular perfection, perfected goal here. A five-year-old can put paint on canvas just as well as 55. How's it going? Going. Um, I can feel Christy's tensions rising. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, no, I just uh, I've been a little too circular with this whole uh, sky thing. Circular. Yeah, I'm not I'm not digging that. So I'm gonna see what I can do to fix that. I'm fine with the colors. I, I like the mm -hmm. way the colors yeah, kind of blend together. Good. But like, it's like a it's more like a uh, like a wormhole. It, I guess <laughs> a wormhole. <laughs> It like, looks uh, <laughs> like a very cool big Friday planet. <laughs> I'm gonna put like a UFO right here. Oh my gosh! Please, put <laughs> a, if you want a UFO in your painting, put one in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel like this is just kind of like a like a time warp kind of thing going on Dude. or something. I'm going to just take some more red and yellow and just kind of pop in some really, because a lot of these colors that I've got on my canvas are already pretty blended out, but I want some, some really uh, highly saturated like pops of color too. I hardly have any yellow left. I've already blended it completely into my blue. Mm, what, I, what I would maybe do is add in some more blue to try to bring the sky into the circle. Okay. And I think I'm going to start on my tree. Um... And you can use whatever brush for this step, really. I think I'm going to stick with my big one and use it on the side. Turn it to the side. To get that line. Um, but the smaller brush that we gave you all would be perfect for this, too. And if you want your tree to look just like the picture, you go for it. But I'm going to um, just use it as a general guide but kind of do my own thing. So what we're going to do first is start on the bottom and start to carve that trunk out. And we'll come back to it. Right now we're just trying to figure out where our tree wants to sit. And then once you start to get that trunk built, then figure out where those branches want to go. And 
Okay. At this point, if you want to stop and let your underpainting, the layers that you have down already, if you want to let them dry a little bit before you start to add on top, that would be perfectly fine. Um, if I was painting this without being on live, I would probably let it dry a bit too. But I'm going to keep going. Uh, we found out last time also that our live video uh, records as a mirror image. Oh yeah. So if what you're looking at is flipped, that's okay. You can follow along with what we're doing or uh, follow along with your paper or both. Or If this thing ends up backwards, that's fine. <laughs> no big deal. I thought the, the biggest part of my tree kind of figured out where it's going to be. Oh, our door just popped open. Hello. Hey. Video you this time. You're broadcasting sideways. Oh. We were just informed we're broadcasting sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix that. I think I can fix that. hear us okay has the sound been out are people saying anything Excuse our technical issues. y'all can hear us um if not mostly all i'm doing is talking about how your painting doesn't have to be perfect anyway so <laughs> you're not missing much hmm i can turn it on uh so I was gonna say if we could pull it up and just see if we can hear ourselves. something. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Is it coming through? Oh, is the sound think, coming through? I think it's delayed. Like what I'm seeing right now is not what's happening right now. <laughs> it doesn't have a lie, probably. But I can hear background noises, so. Say something. Yeah, I think okay. Can fine. you hear us? Can you hear me? Okay. Is it, is it upset? It's oh, it's right. Okay, great. So I think, I think our audio is okay. Um, 
It may have been the way it was going I don't know. But we're fine now. <laughs> we're not sideways anymore. So um, I'm just going to keep working on figuring out where my branches are going to live. Uh, there's two or three branches for each cluster of leaves. So we don't want to go too crazy on the branches because we want there to be lots of space to still see the sky through the branches. So just a few. Um, I've got four big branches here and I'm just going to divide them out into two or three smaller ones. And let that be that. I think I'm going to add some orange here into my brown to lighten it up some because that brown is very close to red. We want it to pop against the sky, so if you're having that issue, just blend in some orange or something into your brown and line it up some. And when you're painting, you always want to be kind of thinking about where the light is coming from. So our light is coming from our moon. Meaning that this side of the tree, as the light comes in this way, will be more brightly lit. So I'm going to add a little bit more orange over on this side for my highlights. Um, I think that's about it on where, how many branches I want. Um, before I start to add leaves though, and while I still got this orangey brown on my brush from the trees, I'm going to grab just a little bit of blue on my brush and let it mix into that brown color. And then this will be my shadows for my tree. So we're going to focus the shadows on the opposite side of your moon, whatever direction that is, if you're mirrored or not. And if you have black, you can do that. I, I tend to not like to shadow with black because it um, can kind of make your painting look a little bit dingy. So I usually shade things with like a dark blue or a purple or something like that. I think I need a little bit more blue actually. Maybe you don't want to use blue to um, create shadows in your tree. That's okay. I'm just obsessed with color. kind of play around with that with the, the oranges and the browns and the shadow colors that you're using. I'm pretty happy with that already because um, I'm mostly going to cover a lot of this up with leaves anyway so um, and there are some little lot of highlights in here. You can touch in there if you want. I'm going to let them blend in pretty good though because I don't 
want anything too stark white on my tree. Just lightly touch your brush to the canvas. I can feel myself getting to that point where I know if I don't kind of quit, I'm going to muddy the whole thing up. My tree and Christy's tree are very similarly shaped, <laughs> but different colors. Like, yeah. Our original painting doesn't have blue in the tree trunk. I just stuck it in there because I thought it would look cool. So, um... I said it a bunch already, but but really, just do what feels right for you. Still working on this uh, black hole. <laughs> Expecting an alien to pop out. Please. Take me away. <laughs> I think it looks really cool. I think after you add leaves in there, it's not gonna. You don't think so? Yeah, I, I don't think. You're I think being, you're being nice. <laughs> no, no, you know better than that. <laughs> I think after you add leaves over here and stuff, especially, it's really going to start to blend in more. Okay. Um, so for this part, the leaves are going to be pretty fun and pretty easy. We're just going to grab different oranges and reds and yellows and just stick them on there. Um, you can do some dabbing. If you look at your uh, reference sheet, some of these leaves are just little dabby circles. Some of them are kind of streaky little lines. Um, so we just want a lot of different little shapes. Anything too, like if you're just stippling the same shape over and over again, it'll just look like you stamped it. And we want things to um, have a little bit more variety than that. And the drier your canvas is at this point, probably a little bit better. Because a lot of my oranges and reds here might possibly blend away into my sky. And if that happens, then the, tomorrow or, or not tomorrow, but Monday or sometime I might come back in and add some more layers that pop a little bit better. And don't blend away into that wet paint. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm just going to dab in leaf shapes until they start to look the way I want them to. And pull some white in there too. If you mix your white and your orange and your red together, it'll help add a little bit of variety because all these reds are not the same red, you know. So be conscious of that. Mix in different colors. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing some kind of yellow or red, a variant of yellow and red and then just dabbing it in here throughout and then in a minute I'll grab another kind of red or yellow or orange and then go around dabbing that color. I'm just going to build up layers of different little dabs of orange and red and yellow and brown and white and you can do the same thing on the ground for your leaves on the ground. I feel like these leaves are 
to come together. Yes. Like they're gonna, they're gonna, exactly. The leaves are going to bring it together. Oh, not bring it together. The leaves are coming together. The wormhole is still <laughs> very much <laughs> open. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, while Christy gets beamed up into space with her wormhole, yeah. we're going to paint leaves. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more yellow because I've about turned all mine green. Adding some yellow throughout. Yeah. Just kind of follow the branches that you laid out. You want a nice little bundle of leaves at the end of every branch. Doing these law classes has really made me very aware of like how actually of a messy painter I am. Um, I like it. It makes me a little self-conscious. I'm like, I'm telling y'all things that have to be perfect for myself. <laughs> Cause I'm over here thinking like, oh my gosh, girl, this is so messy. I say it for me just as much as I say it for you all. I'm gonna come up with a story for mine, like how the wormhole opened up. Oh my god! And set this tree on fire. <laughs> Christy turned this into a creative writing project. This <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could like come up with a story for a painting. Like what? What is going on? This wormhole opened up and set this tree on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and put a little green just here and there just Ooh, to. Uh, that's good. Oh, no, it's gonna smell like a burning a tree on fire. No reason for rangers to come out. This tree, this regular tree. Oh my gosh. And I don't want to add too many leaves in. Because um, I don't want to cover my sky up. But, um,. They're pretty fun to make, so it's hard to hold back. So I think I've about got where I'm happy with. I think I'm going to work on my tree trunk a little bit more. It's kind of blended away a little. And I would add, I mean, it's up to you, but I would um, put a few leaves over on top of the moon just to add that background layer and really push the moon back further. I think I'm about done. Maybe you are also. Maybe you got done 10 minutes ago or maybe you have some work to do still and that's okay because we're all going at our own pace here. That's the beauty of these live videos that you can come back and watch it whenever you need it.
How you feeling, Christy? Uh, you know, pretty, I'm okay. It's beautiful. I love that your leaves on the ground. You did. I like your, <laughs> I like your ground leaves better than I like mine. And I, I think I am gonna. Do this uh, Christy idea of adding a little bit of green into my leaves. I think that, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do that too. Wow, it amazes me that we can actually just make paintings in an hour, mm -hmm. or however long it's been. What time is it? So you can tell on these. No, you can't tell. Do y'all want to see close-ups now? Oh, it's hard to figure out where the camera is. There's. Did y'all think you were a, a perfectly professional painting class? There we go. So how do I flip the camera? Um, that it? Yep, that's it. There we go. That might not be a mirror image too, I'm not sure. So this might be a mirrored image and it might not be, but here's mine. Lots of texture, kind of messy, just the way I like it. And here's Christy so far. She's still working, but her paintings are always a lot more smooth than mine, which I also really like. I might have to do something with this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to back. I got a bunch of leaves, so you can't see that, that wormhole there. <laughs> And here's how messy my canvas is afterwards. I mean, my palette. Send in messy palette pictures, too. We'd love to see those. <laughs> yeah. This is... It's kind of everywhere, but that's cool. I like that. Are you part of it to try and blend some things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're still working, that's fine. Um, please send us in your pictures when you're done. Um... We really enjoy these. I do anyway. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. So please send in your pictures when they're done. It's and a perfect way to like. It's a good e way yeah. to end a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, Christy's going to keep on painting, or maybe she's <laughs> done. Um, I'm going to put some more leaves in, I think, and try and straighten that wormhole out. Oh. Make it look more like Emily's sky over there. I <laughs> almost added somebody in. So, here's Christy and I uh, saying <laughs> happy painting. Yeah, and if you have any, any ideas, just send them our way. Um, we, we'd love to take your ideas and do something, you know, any kind of, you know, art classes. Um, I, I love these on Fridays. They're the perfect mm -hmm. stress reliever. All right, thank you for joining us again for another Friday art class on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Bye. painting.